All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. I am here with Sean McCabe's Gladiator Beast deck from the PS5 tournament. I am not the biggest fan of Glad Beast in Edison format, and that is mostly because I feel like it gets a bit outclassed. And if you don't have a strong early game, it's really, really hard to come back sometimes. Uh, but in a weird way, this deck is also one of the ones that if it establishes a strong presence in the early game, it kind of just blows you out. And a lot of people do not like playing this matchup because of that reason. It really comes down to how good was your opening hand when you're playing against Glabbies. It doesn't feel good when they just obliterate you for playing the game. If you commit to the field or if you don't commit to the field, you can get blown out either way. Like if you commit to the field, you can get Jizaris for two of your cards and then tag out and they can do more popping of your cards and if you don't commit to the field you can end up getting secutored and losing the game that way so it's a really strong deck depending on how the opening few turns go um as far as his build specifically he plays triple trap stun double wabaku double starlight road this deck was made with black wings in mind he told me himself so it's interesting though at the ps5 tournament he ended up going 6-0 out of the seven rounds and in the seventh round i think he lost to fairies because he bricked and game three i believe um but the the decks that he played against mostly in the first six rounds were a lot of frogs, quick draw, and decks like that. And his matches were really fast because obviously Glabbies has a pretty good matchup against frog decks and probably quick draw too, just because it's such a slow deck that even when it does gain advantage, it's still trying to set monsters most of the time. I think outside of Titanium, there's not really much that it does to pressure you. A lot of its effects and monsters are small, so that doesn't help when you're playing against Glabbies. Um yeah, he's main decking some weird cards like Cold Wave. I, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. I mean, I get it, right? Like Prisma, Test Tiger, Cold Wave is broken. There was a whole format dedicated to that in like 07. But Edison is so, so different from that old school type of Yu-Gi-Oh. And yeah, I, everything else about the deck is pretty standard. I mean, there's double Red Yari. <laughs> I... I think I understand why. I, I want to say it's because when one of them gets destroyed, um, your opponent might be thinking that you can't, you know, banish their stuff because your ready yard is in a grave and you're going to take a turn to quest it back to your hand and then tag it out and then go back into the ready yard. I think McCabe just wanted to bypass that entire thing and guarantee that if he needs to remove something from the grave, he will always be able to do so. So that's what's going on there. No shrinks, but three copies of Book of Moon. I think. If you're saying your deck is made to beat Black Wings, then Shrink is worse against Black Wings because of Kalut. You will always lose that battle. So you will lose your Glad Beast, your copy of Shrink, and they will just lose Kalut. And if it's Ashura, they will also gain multiple pluses, not only destroying your monster, but also summoning a card in the damage step. So I get why he chose Book of Moon over Shrink with the idea that he expected to play against a lot of Black Wings. Um, side deck, the third chariot. Compulse for, I imagine, zombies, absolute zero decks, trap holes for black wings, light mirrors for light decks, smashing grounds for hero beat, anything that's just kind of annoying, like the mocking to control deck summoning uh, fortress, stuff like that. But yeah, I think that this is a this is a solid list. Like, I don't I don't think there's anything particularly like egregious about it. And it plays a lot of tech things that I think can benefit you uh, depending on what your matchups are. And I think that Glad Beast probably more than other decks the your bracket will determine how well your tournament goes more than anything like i think if you played against a lot of hero beat and black wings you could have a really really bad day or maybe like light sworn could be really bad for you too just because of erratic wolves and stuff like that that can happen but if you play against a lot of frogs a lot of the slower grindier decks then you probably just have a field day so anyways let's see how this goes All right. Four monsters in the hand, not ideal at all. This deck fucking sucks, just by the way. Like actually, factually, not a good deck at all in any world. I am now under the belief that the only reason McCabe did well with this deck is because he played against frogs. Because I don't think this deck can be anything else. Yeah. Not even kidding. Um, 
I'm I'm just bottomlessing this guy. I don't even want to deal with brain control, mind control, all that bullshit. Like, no. Please just pass. Well, that was just unfair. Okay, well, I feel pretty bad for you, my guy. So I can go attack, attack, attack off a best yard and pop. I could pop all three or I could pop two. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't pop all three, if I'm being honest. Yep. He was just waiting for me to show another monster. Okay. This is summon cat cat good. There's a lot of back row. Hold on. Let me reevaluate. Let me reevaluate. That was a lot of back row he just set. So this is nonsense, by the way. Huh. Uh, I need one more. Jeez. Look at this deck. Is Ready R even good against Cat? It actually just isn't. Like, I, I don't think I want this Glad Beast ever. He's playing rather coy with me. Uh, okay, so we will do this. I want to get, so, ideally I want to get like Hiplomus attack and then tag out for Laquari, I think, is like my goal here. Because if he has Gores, I don't want it to be a big token. I want it to be a liability token. Uh, the next week is Bestiari. So that's not an out. Ready Ari. The next week is Bestiari. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to normal summon and attack because the gores here is just not very good. Yep, you take seven. The clear to top. Yep. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to put the counter on this thing. Phase two. I'm be completely honest, we don't have many things that we will want to set here. I, my opponent could easily have Heavy Storm. I feel like I'm just going to get blown out this game. So, it is what it is. Okay, well, that was not... That was not what you needed there, buddy. Oh, this is... What? Is this X-Sabers then? I guess this is X. I thought it was cat. Well, I guess X Sabers and Cat are basically they're very close to being the same thing. Anyway, uh so that was a good draw, because now I could hurt chariot him. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's what we're doing. Two top, two top, summon this guy. Clear flag, yep, pop. We are definitely attacking. <laughs> Clear flag, two extra. All right, well, this is the apex of the deck right here. This is, this is as high as it can go. Uh, two top, two top, two top. I don't even like doing this because I don't have a Glabies in my hand, but honestly, at this point, because of how bad this deck is, I just feel like I'd rather the game come down to like this than anything else. Also, my opponent just has seven cards. 
cold wave. Um. Mm, I just can't let that one go. That's that one's kind of wild. MST. MST on my chariot, man. Jeez, that's annoying. But I can't let that one go. <laughs> yeah, Rona doesn't do anything. Come on, top deck of Glabby's for game. For game! Uh. Oh my god, I'm in such a vulnerable spot now. Oh, uh, do I just fucking attack Chariot? I'm doing it. I am not fucking around. Yeah, no. Attack you directly, buddy. And, yeah. Okay, main phase two. We are not sending any more back row because Wabaku doesn't do shit when I have the biggest monster in the field. I just didn't want him to go fall troll and all that. Like, I could easily just let that sit on the field, but I'm like, then he can summon another monster and he can go fall troll, and then things just get weird. They just get so weird. Okay, well, sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well, you got here first. Okay. We are going second, which is not the best, but here we are. And already I am regretting playing this deck. <laughs> this is just, ugh. So many things wrong with this hand already. Yeah, okay. Um, what do we want to do? So, we drew our Vishniari, which is really annoying, actually. And... I don't think I can just straight up commit it to the field like that, so I think our only real play here is summon Darius and attack. So I'm just gonna summon Darius and then give him thumbs up. Alright, that got through. I'm just gonna declare an attack. Okay, right, go pop. Okay, I don't know what this deck is yet. Legacy Adagarasu, if I had to guess, fairies? Fairies, maybe? Um, yeah, that's that's about as far as I can go with that. I'm going to set two. Glad Beast is a deck that can't really afford to play around Heavy Storm too, too much. Uh, that shit is not going through, sir. Unless you have traps done. Okay. Yeah, that was wild. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that we just have to commit our bestiary to the field and attack with it and try to get our... Hopefully he doesn't bottomless me. Hmm. Solemn. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with the Solemn, I'm not even gonna lie. I agree with the Solemn right there. Okay, so... Here... <sighs> Here's where it gets awkward because I could say you don't have Heavy Storm. Realistically, he probably doesn't have Heavy Storm. So I'm going to set to and pray because that's what this game is coming down to anyway. Okay, summons good. Attack. Uh, yep, I'll take 1900. Okay, um, hmm. What do we want to do here? Prisma. Man, if that was a test tiger, this game would actually just be over. Okay, so I don't think I can really do anything here. I kind of feel like I should just pass. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, summon, summon's good. Yep, he's probably going into Stardust. 
I imagine. Yep. All right. Yeah, this doesn't really change anything for us, except like my alts are basically the same. Um, okay, so now I can actually play the game. So I have to go. Gosh, that that quest needed to come a turn earlier. Okay, so now I need to go. Equest, attack, tag out, get Darius, Darius back, Darius back, the Bishgiari. Uh, yeah, I think that that's what this has to be. How much am I going to take there? I'm going to take 400 and tag out. Pop, he's going to negate and... The Man, I'm going to be so defenseless after that. So basically, if I do this play, I just like instantly lose to Rekindling, which really sucks. Um, But I don't, I don't know. Should I wait one more turn, you think? Maybe I'll just wait one more turn. Because he has Rekind yeah, I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm going to set... I'm going to set this Secutor, and then I'm just going to pass and see what happens. I think I need to wait one more turn here. Um, Yep. Yeah, see, the play I would have had to do would have been really, really bad right here. It's attacking with Stardust. Interesting. Um, hmm. So, yeah, I just have to let that go, and then I have to book the... Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, let that go. All right. Yep. Take 14. And then, do I just... Do I just, uh... I can actually take the 19, but then he would get another monster. Hmm. Ban banish them during the end phase. I wonder if they get banished if you don't... He hasn't normal summoned yet either. Dear God, this is bad. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Just because... Alright. Here's to hoping. Okay. Banish. That's fine. Oh my god, Glavis is so bad. Ugh. Uh so I have to I have to check the ruling on that. I don't know if it actually gets banished or not, and it does obviously matter a bit. So let me see. Uh, rekindling. It stays. Especially when a monster that's flipped face down is not removed from play in the end phase. Yeah, it does stay. Okay, so I need to go summon, attack, tag out, contact, pop both, chariot. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all I have. And I just have to pray that he doesn't have a, another rekindling, like, dear God. Uh, okay, to top of the deck. Uh, where is Darius? Yep. Plus summon, special summon, uh, okay, and two top, 
come from this. Even if I had drawn a trap this turn, I would be a bit more fine, but like, I am assed out. So, yeah, we're down bad. We are down bad. And this is what I mean by glad beasts kind of just suck. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn, he's not even siding. Uh, yeah, I definitely need these. Okay, I don't know how much this is going to really help. I also don't like this card here. I think... I think that's it. The our opening wasn't very strong, obviously. And, oh my god. This deck. Oh my god. I will not... I will not be playing Gladbys in any future tournaments. That's for damn sure. Um, okay. Well. What should we do? So. I think I just go summon set Wabaku Pat. Yeah, I mean, this is literally it. Like, there's nothing else. This, this, there's no, there are no tricks. And I'm playing against kind of a weird bad matchup, I guess. Like, Flambo Fire Dog is actually problematic as hell. Uh, how do I? Where's the declare button at? Oh, there we go. Tigre. How can my hand be this bad? Like, how could it ever be this bad? Okay, well, hmm. He used MST, so that's good. Um, honestly, yeah, we're gonna set, set, and pass. Okay, this gives me an out, at least. Yep. Set two. <sighs> okay. Uh, main phase. Activate. Uh, we will get the quarry. Normal summon. Okay, well, he's not doing any- yeah, oh, okay, he does have it. Alright, banish. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna end. That game. Uh, I was never winning that. Okay. So, obviously, this deck is just... It's Glad Beast. Hey, wait, did I put a note for Edison? No, I did not. I don't know if I, I can ever really take Glad Beast too seriously. The deck is just, like, so fragile. Like, outrageously fragile. And if you play against... I don't even know like weird decks sometimes they can just be really hard for you also just feel like drawing monsters somehow drawing monsters and glabbies is such a bad thing it's like one of the only decks where you look at monsters in your hand and you're like these are all liabilities because they don't do anything they're all normal monsters until they battle and sometimes they can't battle why are glad beasts the most frustrating deck to play in edison i do not understand it is like
Okay. All right. You too, my good sir. Dante. All right. It's looking like summon set two to me. Summon set set. I feel like I'm always praying with this deck. Like no matter what. I feel like every single game you're like, dear God, don't have the. Yep. All right. That is the best card. Okay. Well, um, do I just do it? Do I just do it? Yep, we're doing it. We're doing it. We are doing it. You have to have Solemn or Starlight Road. And I accept if you do. Okay, what is going on? Set. Oh my god. Fucking lag. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, heavy and solemn. Okay. And just like that, I am down to three cards and I went first. This is crazy. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Oh, I'm just getting absolutely shit upon. Yep, now I'm down even more cards. This is this is just I'm I'm never playing this deck again. Oh shit. Oh, this is a plot twist. Um What the fuck? Yeah. What a fucking plot twist. I'm gonna open up heavy, solemn. Of course. Alright, there's there's nothing. Solemn's gone. <laughs> oh, it's comical, man. Jesus Christ. Ugh, do I even... Sure. I'm just going to attack the right... Oh. Yep. The, the attack keeps going.
I have no idea why you would kill that here, but sure. I feel like the only way I can win is if this guy goes contact, which he's not going to do, so... thinking so he's just targeting the one which doesn't really do anything but I'm pretty dead here I want to see what my draw is okay I'm at the feet um, I don't really have anything for the mirror match like that I guess these are kind of okay definitely take out Wabaku that card's terrible yes. Maybe I, okay. You probably need my heavy as well. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna go set, set, and set. Someone's good. Okay. Um, well, I could. What could we do here? Not much. So I think I just want to summon Beast Diari and then tag out my guys. Yeah, okay. Summon. Lip summon. Battle phase. Attack. 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 All right, you have nothing in grave. The Clarifex. Uh, okay. So I think this is where you just do the old Laquari shuffle. Um. Hmm. I could go hard here and just summon Secutor and be like, "You can't deal." is pretty rude <laughs> yeah I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it you need all the same you still need heavy storm so if you don't have heavy storm uh, 
you lose the game. Target my Secutor. Um, sure. Do I let him take this? Hmm. Glad I didn't go double Aquari at the very least. But he's trying to take Secutor. I'm in such a bad spot if he has Bestiari. Yeah, I'll give it to him. What could possibly go wrong? force it why is this matchup so frustrating <sighs> fucking brain control man card is outrageous okay well this is where we are See if he had a response, so Trinity and Summoner Monk. Cool. Do I believe he has Mirror Force too? I do not want to play around Mirror Force. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, well, we're definitely attacking here. I'm, I'm fucking done. Oh my god. Everything that can go wrong just goes wrong. Like, they have every single thing every single time. It's unreal. Yep. GG's. Okay. I am not feeling it. This is not the fantasy at all. All right, Geo. There's just four monsters every game. I'm secretary, like almost every game. This deck is cringe. Okay, like this is the cringe deck. <sighs> what do I even do? Sure. It's so embarrassing when you summon a Glabby's too. 
Like, when this is, like, your initial play, like, it's just embarrassing to show people that you're playing this deck, I feel like. Okay. Dear God, do not. I was about to say, do not do that right now. I'm so annoyed. I am so annoyed because if that beast already wasn't in my hand, I could actually pop off this turn with Secutor. But instead, I have to summon my beast out here and attack into the face down that he didn't let me attack into last turn for some reason. Oh, well, sorry, but I just can't abide by that. What is that? Okay. <sighs> oh, Fire Blossom. Okay. I think I want to actually get Hippo here, like high key. See for Hippo Laquari. Uh, you know what? He's getting Lone Fire. I actually just need this Laquari to ride the fuck out. Not even gonna lie. We are not doing good. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, I think where we are, we can allow that. Actually, that's not even that bad. Because that's still just on the field in attack mode. I think that I let that go. Ooh, the Princess of Camellias is gone. Okay, well, now he just has all types of liabilities on the field. Oh no. Um hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Sekator is just coming back out. I just want to give a quick second to look around, but like, it is just giving Sekator attack over Raiko, and then just room for activities. Yeah, this is where we have to go. Battle phase. Uh. Does it even matter if I attack Raiko or... I mean, it, it doesn't. Okay, so here I would want to get... I have Solomon Chariot set. So we definitely want, I feel like, a quest and is it ready maybe 
There's no other advantage to be gained. And I don't really care about him attacking over one guy. I think... I don't even think this does anything. Let me see. Let me check his grave. Yeah, like, I don't really... Hmm, I don't really care too much about his grave, if I'm being honest. So I'm actually going to say fuck his grave and get this guy. Like clear effect, two hand, put a token thing on this. And then I think I just can pass like this. <laughs> he has his work cut out for him next turn. Um... Yeah. Yeah, we're just doing this. Those tokens are really, really bad, obviously. That's like one of the worst things that you could have against this deck. Honestly, I think his trooper milling of Dandelion was really, really bad for him. It goes without saying, really. And he doesn't seem to have Pot of Everest yet. Yep. He's going to attack this guy, which makes sense. I'll take 15. Yeah. Uh, so I'm thinking Prisma, send. Yeah, OK. Well. Prisma, Declare, Reveal, Legacy, Two, Great, Two, Top of Deck, Two, Top of Deck, Um, Please. I'm gonna do this thing. Okay, yeah. Back up, up, both. To attack. Okay, so. Attack one, attack the other. I really like having bestiary in the grave. Like I actually don't even want to get it back. I'll probably get back Secutor here. I'm just thinking about what else do I want to, I think I'm just gonna put my Hippo back out. Uh, so declare, so I, I'm thinking as weird as it is, I really, really like having bestiary in grave. I don't think it's weird, but yeah, I'm going to get this back. Okay, put a thing on this. Still no heavy storm in sight. Um, yeah. All right, well, I mean, that's just really bad, obviously. Um, 
how far do we want to extend this? So, yeah, I think we definitely want to summon to attack and then have this go in to the face now, just in case it's hamster. Yeah. Okay, then battle phase, this will attack. And this will attack. Okay, so he's only putting, okay, I was about to say. So one quest got to battle. So I can go tag out the quest that got to battle for Darius, tag out a hippo or thing. Do I even need to, I mean, bring control is gone. I don't really think he has any else at this point. Yeah, I don't have to crash. If I crash, I get to tag out three of my guys, but like. This, this. They swap and then. Yeah, I'm just going to contact on his field. OK, uh, declare effect to top of deck. Just gonna get Darius. Darius is gonna bring this back. This is going to... This is going to get this. Get this back. <sighs> um... Okay, uh, and then after that, I, yeah, I guess I don't even have to, I don't even have to Marmillo there. That was a pointless Marmillo because I'm just going to contact and pop as well. So, um, okay, well, these can go, just going to do this and pop. And then we're just going to set two set one set two all right oh this is just i'm just waiting for my opponent to scoop at this point it gets to a point where it doesn't even matter what you do oh god all right um well this is this is definitely the the whole matchup i probably need this for a titanial i would i would imagine she could be like really really bad What else is there? I can't theory these are really good against this deck, but mm, they're only good at debris and pot avarice is where these are good. I don't know. I don't know. Do people sign Diddy Crow against Quick Draw when you're playing Glabbies? I feel like maybe not. I'm just gonna pass on doing that. Alright, anyway. Um I still cannot get behind this. Set a monster pass. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, this is what the deck is supposed to do. Just summon mindlessly and attack based down. Yep. I'm just setting this and passing. 
I don't think that this card is actually really good against Glabies because now look at it. Like it's just sitting on the field for me to tag out endlessly with any Glabies I draw. And I really don't like that. And then I just get this card back. But that was a fucking draw. Um uh, Okay. All right, well, if he doesn't have DD Crow specifically, I I guess Solemn Judgment is the other one, but like, if he doesn't have one of those two cards, dear God, I feel so bad. All right, nothing's happening. <sighs> I mean, this is just, it's like solemn or bust now. I think we just pop both of the we can honestly we can leave the snowman and pop the other two cards hmm we can leave the snowman pop the other two cards then attack over the snowman and then just tag out for advantage i think that's what we're gonna do the snowman is just a liability It's all the same, whatever. Yeah, I just do not want to attack directly yet. Yeah, and see, this is what I do not like. I low-key right here want to get ready Ari because he can make Black Rose with the snowman eater and I don't like that so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these two so banish because I really don't want you to do that and then two hand so I actually I actually can't deal with black rose right here with this specific hand I cannot okay um Hmm, which one do I set? I mean, real realistically, he can only get one monster out. And I'm kind of insulated no matter what. I'll set this. Because, like, if he summoned Card Trooper, that would be kind of annoying. I just want to deprison the Card Trooper and be done with it. So let's just go that route. But yeah, Snowman Eater was just a liability this game so far. Like, I took 100 damage, and then I just got... Eventually, the, the Gladbeast player is going to get their card. Oh, wow. It's exactly what I said. That's kind of insane. All right. Well, Heavy Storm's going. I feel like that's just game. <clears throat> yeah. That's probably the end of this game. Yeah. Okay, that's as much Glad Beast as I can stomach for today. Um, yeah, it's it does not feel very good, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't know. The deck is just so fragile at every point, and I feel like a lot has to go your way in order to win. Like, I, I went two for two in this session, and... Uh, I don't feel like I did anything wrong when I lost. Like, yes, my opponents did go like heavy storm, you brain control, you mirror force, you like all these powerful one ofs, but that's people play those cards. Like they're going to play those cards and your deck can't really handle 
the high variance of those cards and their impact on the game like there's there's very little comeback factor when the other deck is actually good and i don't like that feeling so there's still just not the deck for me like i get that it has some really strong matchups but i think that there is I don't even think that there are that many of them to warrant Glad Beast, though. Like, I don't think that it has enough good matchups to be like, I'm going to play Glad Beast. Like, I do not, I just do not believe that it has enough good matchups. So, it's a no for me, babes. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. This was one of the decks that people requested that I try out. And I did so at your request, but do not expect me to be playing this much more because I did not have fun. I just did not have fun with this deck. All right. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.